Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Gold with an extra video update for you after the session for Monday 29th of August has closed. I'll still be expecting overall downward movement, the target remains the same at 1279 and if that's wrong it might be a bit too low. Before we get a bit more downward movement though, I'll now be expecting a fourth wave correction to take price sideways and maybe in an ever decreasing range. But overall now a few days of sideways movement before a final little spike down to complete the structure. Let's have a look at the main wave count at the daily chart level and I'm linking back to weekly charts and I covered the weekly charts in last video so let's just look at the start of primary 3 here. The main wave count will assume that primary wave 3 will be longer than primary wave 1, it will reach 1.618 the length of primary 1 at 1582. Primary 3 has to be an impulse from the slow to this high, we have a 5 wave impulse for intermediate wave 1 and now we have an incomplete zigzag probably for intermediate wave 2. At 1279 minor wave C would reach 1.618 the length of minor wave A. But that target might be too low because price not for this wave count may not be able to get down that far. It may find strong support at the lower edge of this base channel which I'm copying over from the weekly chart. Draw a base channel from the start of primary 1 which is the low back in December for gold where it had that big trend change to the end of primary wave 2 here and then place a parallel copy, copy up on the end of primary 1. The lower edge of this base channel should provide support for lower degree second wave corrections along the way up. Within minor wave C, so far we have 1, 2, 3 is now a complete impulse so I expect we're going to have probably a few days of sideways movement for 4 which can't move into wave 1 price territory now above 1330.01. When 4 is done then I will recalculate the target and it'll probably change, it'll probably move higher and if I find a target calculation which fits nicely with price coming to touch this trend line then that will probably be what would be expected. Minor wave C has to be a 5 wave structure, so far we have 1, 2, 3, we need 4 and then a final 5th wave down. Redraw the channel around minor wave C using Elliott's technique from 1 to 3 and then place a parallel copy on 2, copy this channel over very carefully to the hourly chart and I always have my daily charts on a semi-log scale and hourly charts on an arithmetic scale so the channel will slit, sit slightly differently, that's important. There's not a lot of room for Minute Wave 4 to move in. Minute Wave 2 lasted several days and it was a relatively deep zigzag so given the guideline of alternation I would expect Minute Wave 4 to be a shallow sideways correction, most likely a flat combination or a triangle. It's going to have to be quite shallow to remain below Minute Wave 1 price territory. Let's have a look at how it's beginning at the hourly chart level where Minute Wave 3 ended down here. I have checked this downward wave on the 5 minute chart and it looks a bit odd on the hourly chart but it will subdivide ok as a 5 wave impulse on the 5 minute chart. So far we have what might be a zigzag completing upward, now this may be just the A wave of either a flat or a triangle for minute wave 4. If minute 4 is the most likely flat correction or next likely triangle then within it the B wave may make a new price extreme beyond the start of the A wave. A new low below today's low for Monday will not invalidate this wave count and would not necessarily tell us that minute wave 4 is over, it would most likely be part of minute 4. In order for minor C to have a good normal look at the daily chart level, minute wave 4 should last at least 2 or 3 days and so I am expecting overall choppy overlapping sideways movement now for a couple of days before another wave down. When minute 4 is complete this target will be recalculated so at that stage it may very well change and if it does it will probably move higher. At the daily chart level this is an alternate, it suffers from a problem of proportion. Minute wave 2 now lasted I think 19 days compared to minor wave 2 which is more brief compared to intermediate wave 2 which is even briefer lasting only 6 days. So minute wave 2, 2 degrees lower is now nearly 3 times the duration of intermediate 2 here, 2 degrees higher. That gives this wave count a very strange look. It is possible but it does have rather low probability now at this stage. 
Minute 2 may not move beyond the start of 1 below 1310.84. If this wave count is invalidated, then the main wave count and the second the third wave count would be confirmed. Let's have a look at this at the hourly chart level. We can see a 535 zigzag now complete for minuet wave Y. Let's have a look at the end. We could have seen it over down here and again we're seeing this as a 5 wave impulse and again an incomplete either 535 zigzag or 123 to start a new impulse upward. Within sub -minute, sorry, within the new upward trend, if it's begun here, no second wave correction can move beyond its start below 1315.42. And so a new low below that point at this stage would invalidate this alternate at the hourly chart level, but not yet at the daily chart level. We need invalidation at the daily chart level in order to fully dismiss this wave count. To the upside now, short term, if we see a new high above 1330.01, that would add some price confirmation to this alternate. Let's have a look at the third wave count. It's identical to the main wave count. They're all the same, actually, up to this point here. And now what if primary wave 3 was over here? This is possible, and it could have been shorter in length than primary wave 1. There's a core Elliott wave rule that states a third wave may not be the shortest. That does not mean it has to be the longest. That's a misinterpretation of the rule. Sometimes a third wave can be shorter than the first wave, and when that happens, that limits the following fifth wave to no longer than a quality in length with the third, so that the rule is met. And sorry, primary wave four, if that's what is unfolding as a sideways zigzag can't move into primary one price territory below 1282.68 so the target at 1279 for the main wave count if that is reached would see this alternate invalidated primary two was a relatively shallow 0.4 depth of primary one and it was an expanded flat correction and so given the guideline of alternation you would expect primary four to be a zigzag and that's what this is unfolding best as five three and an incomplete five down and so from this high on down to the low this wave count is exactly the same as the main wave count with the exception of the degree of labeling everything here is moved up one degree so the hourly chart would look exactly the same the invalidation point here is exactly the same now if this invalidation point is breached very short term in the next day or so then what might also be happening is i would have to move the degree of labeling of this little impulse down one degree this could be wave one within minor wave three this could be just minute one and then if that's the case the invalidation point would move back up to this point here that's why that's would a new high above that point would offer further invalidation of this alternate and so offer further confidence or confirmation with the main wave count for now I'm going to leave the invalidation point down here because we can see minor wave 3 is a complete 5 wave impulse meeting all Elliott wave rules and so this little green candlestick for Monday's session does look like the start of minor wave 4. It should unfold sideways and be very shallow. At the weekly chart level I've already gone over the weekly technical analysis and so I'll just do it really briefly in this video. Last week we completed a red weekly candlestick and it came on an increase in volume so the fallen price was supported by volume and so that does suggest more downward movement. On balance volume may have found support at this purple line though so that may serve to halt the fallen price if we are going to get some more downward movement it might not be by much and that actually fits quite neatly with the expectations for the Elliott wave count. At the weekly chart level there's a little bit of hidden bullish divergence between price and RSI from this low back here, about this point here on RSI. RSI has made a slightly lower low but price has made a slightly higher low. That indicates that there's weakness in this downward movement. That's expected as we get toward the end of a consolidation. It also supports the Elliott wave count which tells us that this downward movement is more likely a counter trend movement because it's weak rather than the start of a new more sustainable trend.
At the daily chart level we've got a small green candlestick with a small real body and a relatively long lower wick. The green body and the lower wick are reasonably bullish but importantly it's come on a decline in volume and so the upward movement for price on Monday was not supported by volume. That tells us that this little piece of upward movement is more likely to be a little counter trend movement within a downward swing than it is to be the start of a new more sustainable upward movement. Since about the 7th of July, gold has essentially been range bound. It finished its upward swing here and then it began a consolidation on this day here. During this consolidation, it is the two upward days of the 8th of July and now last Friday, which have strongest volume. That tells us that gold is most likely to break out of this consolidation upwards. That supports all three Elliott Wave counts mid to long term. This trick usually works pretty well for gold. Usually is not the same as always. We're dealing with probabilities here, not certainties. But like I said, it usually works pretty well for gold, that little trick. We've got resistance about 1375, support about 1310 to 1305. A range bound approach to this market would expect price to swing from up to down, back to up, back to down and only to turn when price finds resistance or support and stochastics reaches overbought or oversold at the same time. Stochastics was overbought, price reached resistance, a downward swing began. Stochastics is now oversold but price hasn't quite found support so that approach would expect a continuation of the downward swing to at least 1310 before a turn in the start of the next upward swing. That also is slightly supported by lighter volume for Monday's upward day. This is at this stage does not look like the start of a more sustainable and higher move from price. On balance volume gave us a bearish signal with a break below this small yellow support line. That signal was negated when it returned above the yellow line. It may very well find resistance at the purple line which is not too far away. That purple line may help to halt the rise in price and may serve to assist the Elliott Wave count. If on balance volume does move higher tomorrow, then I will expect some resistance at that line. If on balance volume breaks above that line, that would be a reasonably strong bullish signal. But before a break, we will expect resistance. That would be a reasonable expectation. At the daily chart level, there's no divergence between price and RSI to indicate weakness short term at the daily chart level. RSI is not extreme, and so we wouldn't necessarily be expecting a trend change yet. ADX is telling us that the market is not trending because it's declining. The positive and ne negative DX lines are whipsawing about each other. That's pretty typical during a consolidation. ATR agrees as it too is declining while ADX declines. Those are both telling us this market at this stage is not trending. Bollinger Bands up until three days ago were also in agreement but now they're starting to widen. Now this is just three days of small widening from Bollinger Bands that may not yet be sustainable if this one two three if these three indicators all come into agreement all with increases then I would expect that we are in the early stages of a new trend but not yet that's all for me at the end of the day with your extra video for your gold analysis and I hope that all of our members had a most wonderful weekend